Hi, today we are going to, to run a very interesting uh, process on the VGG16 model. We are going to take one of the 1000 classes and ask the model what is the best image for predicting this class. What does it mean? It means that we are going to take this class and we are going to maximize our loss function. Instead of looking for the, the, the least value for the loss function, which is on the training process, we are going to maximize it. So, for example, we are going to ask uh, the, the VG, VG, VG16 model what is the optimized image for predicting a Persian cut. Very interesting. So, how can we uh, achieve this? So, let's start the coding. We are going to create a new Python file. And we are going to install a very interesting uh, Python library called tfkeras-vis. You can look for it on the, on the GitHub. Let's uh, Google it. And this is the... We are going to drill through. And this is the, uh, this library and we are going to choose the, the first one, the convolutional uh, process. Uh, but I will do it uh, step by step, it will be very clear. Basically, we need uh, no more than 10 minutes to, to achieve this uh, fantastic uh, uh, outcome. So we are going to import some uh, Python and TensorFlow uh, libraries. First of all, of course, we are going to import the, the VGG16. Uh, we have to fix it, yes, VGG16. Next. It's very, uh, type the, the syntax very carefully. Of course, I will leave the code in my GitHub, uh, GitHub page. So uh, we are going to, to get, get a pointer for this, uh, uh, for this VGG uh, model. You will the ImageNet uh, weights. Include top uh, true, that means that the last layer will be the 1000 uh, classes, the original uh, the original VGG16. Let's print the summary. Once again, I had this uh, simple syntax error. Now let's print the summary. Yes, this is the, the whole network and the 1000 classes as the last layer. Now we are going to, to define a new uh, function that uh, will help us uh, to modify the, the model. We are going to change the, the the, the, the last layer, the softmax uh, activation uh, function, we are going to change it to linear. So we are going to create a function that will help us uh, to achieve it. This function will get an argument as our model and will change the, the minus one layer, that means the last one, to a linear activation function. Okay, I have this. I will leave some remarks and we will continue. Now we are going to import uh, a function called uh, application, uh, sorry, activation maximization. Okay, this is a function uh, from our uh, library tfkeras-vis. So first of all, we are going to import, import this uh, function. And now we are going to create a, a variable that run this uh, function. And we are going to send to this function uh, some arguments like our model, like our model modifier that uh, we have changed in order to change the last um, the last activation uh, the last activation layer to linear as we did uh, earlier and then we will have a variable that uh, basically help us to maximize our class that means that our loss function will be in a 
very high value and not in a, a very low value. Uh, when we will see the outcome, it will be very clear. Now we are going to define uh, in which class we are going to focus. So let's look at the ImageNet uh, classes. This is basically has 1000 classes and we are going to look for the Persian cat. Okay, the Persian cat is class number 283. So this class will be maximized in our in our code. So let's create this uh, function. Uh, I will leave in, in the code a link for the, for the ImageNet. So you can choose uh, whatever class you would like. So we are creating uh, this uh, function. We will call it loss, just a, just a name. And we are going to uh, look for the class number 283, as you can see in the code. In order to visual uh, this class, we are going to import another function called print. And we are going to, to run our activation maximization a variable that we defined earlier. We are going to send several arguments, the loss, uh, the print function, the print function help us to visualize the, the progress. You will see what does it mean interval 50 in a few minutes. After the process is ended, the position zero basically is, the, is our image. So we have to do some uh, casting and then we can uh, show this uh, image uh, by using a uh, open CV library. So now our image variable has the outcome images, which is the best uh, Persian uh, cat from the VGG uh, 16 perspective. So what we need next is to convert our image to a BGR image. This is a, a, a prereq prerequisite of the open CV library. And then we are going to show our image and to understand what is a Persian cat from what is the, the let's say the best image for Persian cat from the VGG 16 perspective according to its training. Okay, now it's running. Let's wait for the outcome. Okay, this is the, the image. It's a very uh, small image. So let's uh, do some resizing. OpenCV has uh, its, own, uh, its own function in order to, to resize an image. So let's rescale it with the uh, 200%. We're going to retrieve the, the width and the height of the image and then duplicate it on 200 in order to, to enlarge the image. And then we run the whole process again. By the way, the, the 50 argument is the steps. You can see it on the log that it runs and print every, every 50 steps. Okay, now we will show the resized image and let's run it again. Okay, of course 200, not 200%, 200 we need, does need the percent character. Okay, let's wait for the outcome, we will get a, a bigger image.
Okay, so this is the optimized image for a Persian uh, cat. Probably it's based on a uh, training of uh, lots of uh, faces of uh, cats. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Thank you very much.